According to the World Cancer Report, cancer has emerged as the major public health problem in both developing and industrialized nations. It is predicted that in the year 2020, there could be 15 million new cancer cases worldwide and many thousands of new cases in Australia. Despite these tragic statistics, help is available to cancer sufferers through the use of powerful platinum anti-cancer drugs, especially cisplatin. To appreciate the origins of these drugs, we need to go back in time to the mid-1840s when the Italian chemist Michel Peyrona made a bright yellow compound containing platinum, ammonia and chlorine. In 1893, its structure was deduced by Alfred Werner, a central platinum atom with two ammonia and two chloride ligands in a square planar arrangement, each pair of ligands in a cis configuration, cisplatin. Cisplatin was largely forgotten until the mid-1960s when researchers in the US accidentally made another platinum compound containing ammonia and chlorine. This one had four chloride ligands and two ammonia ligands in a cis configuration. By chance, they discovered that the compound prevented E. coli bacteria from growing and multiplying. They tried the trans isomer, but it was not effective. The cis arrangement of ammonia ligands is key to this amazing property. Because of the similarity in structures, cisplatin was tested and ultimately found to be very effective in killing cancer cells in rats. However, the trans isomer again was not effective. Cisplatin was approved for human testicular and ovarian cancer treatment in the US in 1978 and in the UK in 1979. How it kills cancer cells is still not fully understood. After injection into the bloodstream, it is believed to enter a cancer cell where a water molecule displaces a chloride ligand to form a reactive cis aquochloro species. The water ligand is displaced, often by a nitrogen atom of guanine or adenine of DNA, to bind platinum to the DNA, leading to cross-linking by platinum. Cross-linking of cancer cell DNA by platinum interferes with the process of cell division by mitosis. The damaged DNA cannot repair itself, and the cell dies. Several other platinum drugs have been developed, but cisplatin remains the most effective. They have completely changed how some cancers are treated. Before cisplatin, the cure rate from testicular cancer was just 10%. But now, with early detection, the cure rate approaches 100%. Through the power of cisplatin and other platinum anti-cancer drugs, an effective cancer treatment is available for sufferers now and in the future.